So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Been way too long since I've said that on camera. This is like my first proper video of 2017. Sorry it's coming out so late. My laptop's been broken. I've been super anxious. I've been working. As per usual, as my video that I said a few months ago. But this time, I'm coming back. I mean it. And I'm staying. Let's get on with the favourites. That glow. I will leave my 2015 Best in Beauty down below. A lot of the products are probably going to be similar or the same and I still love them, still use them. Everything's probably out of date now, but they expire when they run out. So I'm going to start with primers as I did last year, I think. So my first favourite slash love that I use a lot is the Illa Mascara Hydro Veil. And this is the little sample size. I am planning to buy the full size once this has been used up. But basically it is like a little kind of jelly-like primer. And if your skin is dehydrated or anything, this just brings it back to life. Like if you plan to do like a full cake up right now, then you kind of need some hydration, otherwise it can look extra cakey, especially if your skin is dry like mine. And this just seems to help kind of with the cake factor. It does just help hydrate the skin and leave it nice and fresh looking. I use this on days when I'm not even wearing makeup just because it is so hydrating and I absolutely love it. Major find that I found in 2016 that I love. AOPS, not all the products are from 2016. Just stuff that I'm loving, holy grails. Carry on. My next favourite slash love is the Stila One Step Correct Primer. This I really like just because it helps to even out my skin. Like this is my second bottle of this now and I just use it even on days when I'm not wearing makeup. That's generally what I do with a lot of my primers because they help diminish pores or just even out texture, that kind of thing. And yeah, this is just another good one if you've got a lot of discoloration or just want your skin to look nice and uniform before you go in with foundation. This is a great thing for it. So next is foundations. I have two foundations that I've been loving and kind of going back and forth between. And it is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I have a first impression of it on my channel. I just really like this. It's what I'm wearing on my skin now. It is very full coverage and can get a little bit cakey. But I just love it because it is so full coverage. It is like bulletproof. I have worn this on nights out. I wore this for the Christmas party when I got up at 7am. Lasts until 3am the morning like after. And yeah, I just freaking love this as like a heavy duty budge proof, sweat proof, waterproof, everything makeup. It just really works for that. And the other one is the Too Faced Born This Way. This is a little bit more medium coverage, but it still can be built up to very full coverage. And I like this for a little bit more of like a lighter weight look. If I just do one light layer of this, it just evens everything out really nice. And yeah, two foundation I've been swapping between. I have got a lot, a lot, a lot of new foundations. Like I'm talking like 15, 16 bottles of new stuff recently. So I'm planning to do first impressions and trying all them out, so. That might be replaced, but so far, love. So I have four concealers that I've been friggin' loving and swapping back and forth. I've gone through several bottles of all of these. The first one is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I really like this if I'm going for a more full coverage look, because this is a lot more fuller coverage concealer, and it's still very lightweight. Like, it doesn't feel like you're applying a crap ton of cake, even though that is me, but it doesn't feel very heavy or cakey, so I like this just to add some nice fuller coverage. If I want it to look like I'm flawless, this is the concealer that I go for. The next one is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I like this most just for discoloration, just because the tone of it is just so good. These are designed pretty much to do under eye, like, dark circle correcting, and I love it for that. The other two is the Rimmel Wake Me Up and the Maybelline Fit Me. I do slightly prefer this one over the Rimmel Wake Me Up because this has like little micro glitters in it. You can sometimes see it and it leaves your skin looking a little bit more kind of sheeny as opposed to like just a pure natural finish. It looks a little bit more dewy. So I like to wear both of these if I'm not planning to wear much makeup or like no foundation. This is just kind of what I go for just to even out a little bit of skin discoloration and yeah, just make me look a little bit more awake. These two are like my go-to day-to-day Pretty much I would never go a day without wearing either one of these two, so gotta mention them. They're my go-tos. Also, some of these products I probably did mention last year, but just shows how much I love them. So the next product is the MUA Skin Define Hydro Powder. When I first tried this, I was a little bit like, oh, it's really cheap and it might be like really bad, but it's so soft and creamy. I like this just to kind of set my under eye concealer. I don't really use it for full face setting since I don't really wear a full face all that often apart from now, cake. And yeah, it's just really nice on a daily basis because it's not a very heavy powder. It's very creamy and soft. And I just like it just if I'm basically just doing a little bit of concealer, just set it with a little bit of powder just to try and help prevent some creasing. I don't really need to mention this powder. It is just absolutely my godsend. I bake with it. You know what baking is. Hope you know what baking is. Heavily packing it on. This powder is perfect for that. My skin is so dry, like so dry. This doesn't fuck it up. This is an amazing powder. Buy it. 
So brows, I only have one thing that I can mention for this. I don't really fill in my brows that often, but if I do, I generally use eyeshadows, just since I change my hair colour so often that I like to change my brows with it. But this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I just really like this because it's got such a fine, like, tip on it. Helps if I open the right end to show you. But it's just got, like, such a fine, like, little tiny tip, and it just works. It works. Enough said. For eyeliner, my pretty much only one that I use now is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in black is black, nice and descriptive. It's what I'm doing as my eyeliner today, whenever I'm pretty much going to be wearing eyeliner. I don't even really go with pencils anymore, that used to be my thing, and then it became liquid liner. Now I can't do liquid liner, gel all the way. It's just the best, it's so black, so pigmented, just on, stays put, all day, literally all day. Doesn't move, doesn't flake, doesn't nothing works and it's affordable. I've been going back and forth with mascaras on what I like and the Benefit Roller Lash was my favourite last year. I loved it pretty much all of last year, 2015 not 2016, and then in 2016 this one kind of dried up on me and I was like oh I don't know if it's my favourite and then I recently got a new one for Christmas and I fell in love with it all over again. I think my bottle just ended up a little bit dry and like a little bit splotchy because every time I put it on I was like why did I love this so much? Now I've got a new one, I remember. Such a good mascara. My favourite bronzer is probably still Benefit Hula, but this is just something that I've fallen in love with. And it is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I have the light bronzer since I'm a pasty ass bitch. And it smells like chocolate. Major bonus points. And it's just a really nice tone. Like it is quite warm, it can look a little bit harsh on me. Not gonna lie, I apply it heavily. But I just really like it. I just like the way it blends, I like the way it feels, and I like the way it smells. All around really cute, but I really don't like the cheap plastic packaging, but I can get over there. Over it. Wish I could speak. Now, I know all you bitches have been like, wow, you look like a greased mannequin. Yeah. From this. This is the Sleek Solstice Palette, and pretty much Jaclyn Hill. Oh, hello brush. Jaclyn Hill pretty much used this, and everybody lost their freaking goddamn minds. I already bought this, but I never, like, used it. It was sat in the bottom of my drawer, and then when I kept seeing loads of people using it, I was like, I swear I have that. I swear I have that found it out. It is so intense. If you want an intense sheen, this is where you go. So the, I pretty much only use the powders. The cream isn't my favourite thing, but I really like the powders, particularly for like even eyeshadow anything. If you want like a sheen, this is how you get a fucking sheen. Metallic, glowy mannequin AF. I'm in a really strange mood if you couldn't tell. Fairly sure every single beauty YouTuber has mentioned the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I also have a video using it for the first time. And my only complaint about it is how powdery the shadows are. They do kind of have quite a lot of kickback, fallout, everything. But they are just so pigmented and the shades are just so nice that you can kind of forgive it. Like it's one of those palettes where it's like, oh it's got some fallout but it's so nice and so pretty and just, it works for pretty much day to day, every occasion. It just works. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today and Honestly, there's not really many days that go past where I don't reach for this as my eyeshadow palette. Freaking love it. Again, I'm not somebody that particularly wears too many different lip colours. I'm safe and happy with nudes. But this is kind of like a favourite and a hate. And it is the Colourpop Cream Lippy Sticks. Lippy Sticks. Certain times they work on my lips and look so effing gorgeous. And other times they just look a little bit patchy and kind of cake up on my lips but this is in the shade skimpy with the matching lip pencil and I just really like the colour of it. The lippy stick, love hate relationship but the actual like lippy pencil, I friggin love Colourpop's lippy pencils. They are the nicest, smoothest, creamiest pencils with still providing like a good barrier to stop bleeding, anything like that. They're just that perfect mix of like creaminess and wax and I recently bought like a bunch of MAC lip liners. They are so solid, so like tug at your lips that I can't use them. These are like a third of the price and work tenfold better. These are amazing. And finally for setting powders. Setting powders, setting sprays. I already discussed setting powders. So it is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Everybody loves this. It just seems to work. It keeps your makeup on. It stops me looking too greasy. It stops my makeup breaking down as quick. Just seems to work. And then MAC Fix Plus. This is my empty one. My one in my bathroom is my empty one. My one on my dress is my empty one. I've gone through three bottles this year. Well, last year. You know what I mean. MAC Fix Plus just works. I like it for wetting eyeshadows. Spritz in my face when I'm not wearing any makeup. Spritz in my face after makeup. Just general hydration and making your skin look nicer. 
it works. So I rattled them off pretty quick. I was expecting to be filming this video for like four hours, but they are kind of the products that are like my go-to. P.S. I'm wearing like all of them on my mug, if I haven't said it already. They are all here. This might not be a masterpiece since I was just playing around with makeup and then felt like filming, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. And these are just pretty much products that I go to. They're like in my top drawer of my like desk behind this camera right now. And it's just stuff that I gravitate towards. My pretty much go-to makeup. So if I'm ever going to wear makeup, probably going to be something along these lines. Let me know if there is anything that I should be checking out. What are your guys' favourites? And yeah, thank you for coming back to my channel. 2017 is going to be a year that I'm actually posting on my channel, around on my channel, and doing a lot more for my channel. So yeah, stick around. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below and subscribe. I bring out new videos every Monday. Gonna do it this time. So do it about 10 times four this time. I mean it. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. I'm really hyper. I've had like six coffees today. Not even kidding, like litre things as well. Bye.